Beauty and the Beast, the mystery of Goya's Maja Vestida and Maja Desnuda. Hello, and welcome to this first installment of Art Rediscovered, where we look at historical works of art, and with an artist's eye and a curious mind, we can find new things that were previously overlooked. Many have speculated the motivation behind Goya's Maja Vestida and Maja Desnuda. The Spanish term Maja translates as great beauty, Goya had created two paintings of a reclining female, identical in all ways, except one was dressed and the other was nude. But why did he do it? These two paintings hang together in the Prado, like a strange peep show, where she is dressed one minute and naked the next. One of the many tall tales is the sitter, who has never been identified, was the mistress of the sitting Prime Minister Manuel de Godoy and that he was so insanely jealous that if he had found out that Goya was painting her naked, he would have flown into a rage. As the tale goes, Goya's solution was to have a dressed version of the painting that could be swapped during a surprise visit. But since the Prime Minister had commissioned the nude painting for his secret viewing room of forbidden art, this tale does not hold water. At that period of time, the late 18th century, early 19th century, the Inquisition was still in progress, and inquisitors would deem risque works of art vulgar, confiscate the work, and in some cases jail the owner and the artist. Goya was forced to defend himself before the Inquisition for this very painting, and likely referred to other nudes by artists such as Titian and Velazquez that remained in favor and was not punished. So if the nude was commissioned by Godoy, why did Goya paint a fully clothed version? Well, as the story goes, Godoy commissioned the dressed version after the birth of his son to cover over the nude version, and with a system of pulleys surprise and delight guests while hiding it from both his young son's eyes and the Inquisitor's inspections. And while this account may or may not be true, I think there is a deeper meaning behind the two paintings that was only meant for Goya's self-amusement. I believe it was Goya's idea to paint the two paintings and that they were originally intended to hang side by side. What evidence is there to support this idea? The answer also hangs in the Prado. In the court of Charles II a century earlier, there was a great desire to acquire, for lack of a better term, people with physical oddities such as dwarfism and obesity. One such person was an obese young girl by the name of Eugenia Martinez Vallejo. At age six, she weighed more than 150 pounds and likely suffered from hypercortisolism. She would be brought to be paraded for the court during gatherings and celebrations. King Charles II had two paintings commissioned by Juan Carreño de Miranda. Carreño was the default painter for the royals after the death of the great Diego Velazquez. The commission was to paint one portrait dressed in the other nude of Eugenia. Now these paintings eventually made their way to the Prado, but before that hung for 150 years in the royal residence. Goya being the court painter in his time to King Charles IV, he was sure to have seen these two paintings hung side by side, as they were affectionately known as La Monstra Vestida and La Monstra Desnuda. The Spanish term monstra translates as monster or great beast, dressed and nude. Goya was making an art pun. He had copied the idea, but turned the great beast into a great beauty. Now both pairs of paintings hang in the Prado. The Maja Desnuda and Maja Vestida hang together, but these two other works of Eugenia hang down the hall from each other. So it's not so obvious that they are paired together. And now you know the story of Goya's Beauty and the Beast, Mystery Solved. Happy to hear your thoughts. If you want to hear more of Art Rediscovered, let me know. Leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And be sure not to miss the next installment by subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon to get alerts. Thank you.